What's up guys, quick review here of the EcoFlow 110 watt foldable solar panel. I believe this is their newest version and it comes with, um, with this box. You open it up just like a, <laughs> reminds me of opening a pizza. Behind this is the, the hooks that you can use it to hook the solar panel to the cover and here it is. Also comes some with some uh, manuals. I'm not sure what this is, but this has a one year um, warranty. And I just wanted to show you guys a size comparison when it's closed up. I got the Tishi Harry here, the EcoFlow and the Blue Eddy. Blue Eddy and Tishi Harry are both 120 compared to this 110. And here are the cords. This is the actual solar panel. The, the panel itself feels really um, really good in quality. It's very, uh, very high quality indeed. The bottom cover, uh, cover is kind of stiff and the top cover is very flimsy. It's just uh, some type of um, fabric. So this is the, the size when you open it up. It's fairly long but not as wide as the other solar panels I have. This is the grommets um, where you put the hook in there. You have six in total. So it's pretty wide as you can see here. This is my 120 watt solar panel, the Blue Eddy and Look at that difference in length, but the 120 is a little bit wider. So I wanted you guys to see a, a perspective right here. I'm going to make a different video showing um, the comparison for the output. So I just wanted to put it right next to the Blue Eddy 120 PV. And this is the EcoFlow in the front. And I just want to show you guys that the connections here, the MC4. This does not have any uh, USB or USB-C um, connection, so you're stuck with that MC4. In comparison to this Tishy Harry, and the cord on this is pretty short, in my opinion. So. But it looks well built. And this is the, I just want to show you guys a comparison to this. This one has two USB-A and a USB-C. This one has a pretty good USB-C. You can take, you can get about 100 watts from the USB-C. So this is pretty good, but we'll talk more about that panel later. And this is the Blue Eddy. So this has a kind of similar. The Blue Eddy does not have a USB-C or USB-A connection as well. So once again, I just want to show you guys the, what you would expect when you open this thing up. Uh, it's pretty long, so it's not going to be discreet. If you open it up in a, in a location, it's going to be out there. <laughs> but I, I, I guess it's the same thing for the other panels. So I, I want to show you guys this with the, um, the cover the use as an attachment to have it propped up. It took me a while <laughs> to uh, put this on. It's very clunky in my opinion. Um, I think they're just trying to be unique, but I think they can just get away with this. Just just use what every, everybody else use where they have a, a stand at the back of the panel. Uh, this one is, I'm not very, uh, I'm not a fan of this stand right here. It takes a while to put on and it takes a while to take out. There you go. So if you lose one of those hooks or it breaks, then you can't prop this up. 
you're gonna have to find a stick or something to put it up against to get a good uh, good angle get good angle I should say so this is just a first impression uh, just want to show you guys real quick uh, how it compares the size I will make a separate video uh, comparing exactly how each one uh, performs now I'll also make a different video for the blue Eddy uh, PV120 and I think this is good for the new EcoFlow River 2 this um, 110 watts you will suffice the need of that uh, solar charging but for a bigger uh, power station this might not be enough so stay tuned guys for um, the comparison for the output for this um, 110 EcoFlow foldable against all this, uh, these two that I have, the Blue Red and T-Sherry. Thanks for watching guys and be safe.